are thrilled to announce the release of custom GPT for Zapier. Um, you can really unleash the power of your chat GPT-4 chatbot for your business now with the flexibility and connectivity of Zapier. So let's just get started and build this out. So already, chat custom GPT allows you to ingest all of your business content from multiple sources for your GPT-4 powered chatbot. In addition to that, you now have the ability to ingest websites and podcasts through automated flows in Zapier. So you can create this GPT-4 powered chatbot that's bounded by rock solid content, accurate responses, and it's still your content and your control. Whether, you, whether your chatbot ingests data the traditional way, or through Zapier, we are still ensuring that it's your content, your control, and no hallucinations. AKA, your bot will respond without making things up. Great, so just like Zapier has flows from Gmail to Slack or Facebook ads to your favorite CR CRMs, custom GPT for Zapier can allow you to connect any of those apps to your chatbot. So for today's example, I'll be ingesting a new file upload into my chatbot. So I'll set my trigger as a new file upload in Google Drive. This way, anytime a new file is uploaded to this folder, it'll automatically be ingested and I'll have time to do better things. So that's really the power of automation. Great. So next comes the fun part, actually adding custom GPT. So as you can see, there are multiple things that you can do with this, with custom GPT up for Zapier. You can create projects and delete projects, um, but the really powerful features are the ability to send and receive messages and then also upload files. So not only can you amplify the power of your chatbot with different social media channels, you can also automate your data ingestion with the upload file event. So for this example, I'll be uploading that file that we, that we pulled from the trigger, from the Google Drive trigger, trigger. So for this step, you'll need your API key, and that is something that that you should keep hidden. There is a guide linked in the, in the description on how to find your API key, and that's how we will authenticate your account, and that's how you'll log in. So the great part about finally having an app is all your data is right here loaded beautifully for you and you don't have to retrieve anything other than the API key. So for today's example, I'll be using a bot that I created on myself. Um, so all you have to do is look at the project name. You don't need to go through the technical data, find the project ID. All you need is the project name. Data retention is just asking me whether or not, whether or not I want to keep the data for viewing after or I just want to be deleted as soon as the bot ingested. So I do want to keep this. This is actually important because sometimes when Xavier pulls data from other triggers, it's a name that we can't understand. So I'm just going to name it the title of the doc in Google Drive. And then I finally get to add the file. Do you keep in mind that with the Xavier app, you can only pull zip files, PDF files, or doc files. So as long as you adhere to those file formats for the Zapier app, you should be fine. But do keep in mind that Zapier has a ton of apps 
and actions that will let you convert document format. So you can always add that to your zap. Great, so my zap is done. It really was as easy as one, two, three. And the file will go into my chatbot's intelligence and all the same features that we had before. The anti-hallucinations, the citations, persona, they'll all still be there with the same chatbot that I sent this file to. Thanks so much for watching. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.